Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my series of videos on vectors. Now in recent videos I've talked about the connections between vectors and lines and in particular I've introduced the uh, parametric vector form of a line and uh, a Cartesian form of equations for lines. In this presentation, I'm going to do an example to kind of illustrate the ideas. So let me share my screen with you and uh, we'll get underway. All right, so here is the example that we're going to look at. We've got a line L with a Cartesian form of the line given here. We're asked to determine a parametric vector form of the line L. And we're also asked to identify a point on, on L and a vector V that is parallel to L. Okay, so let's just um, uh, refresh our memory on what a parametric vector form of a line is. So this is the, the form. Lambda here is a real num uh, is, uh, varies over the real numbers. It's called a parameter. A is the position vector of a point on the line. And V is a vector that is parallel to the line. Okay, so to move to a parametric vector form, all I really need is a point on the line and a vector that's parallel to the line. Okay, now the Cartesian form is given here. So the Cartesian form of a line L that's parallel to the vector V and passes through the point A with these coordinates is given here, okay, so the v1, v2, v3 comes from the vector v, and the a1, a2, a3 comes from the point or the position vector of a, okay. Now if you look up here, this isn't quite what we've got down here, because this is a little bit different to this, so what we would um, interpret this as saying is basically the v1 is 0, okay, so a1 would be 8, a2 would be 3, A3 would be negative 5, V1 would be 0, V2 would be 2, and V3 would be negative 5. Okay, now um, based on that, you can actually write down the parametric or a parametric vector form uh, for, for L straight away. But, you know, let's say you forget it. I'm going to show you how to derive it. Okay, so Let's just remind ourselves what the, uh, a parametric vector form is. Parametric vector form of L is the following, where lambda is the parameter. A is a point on L with position vector A equals OA and V is a vector that is parallel to L. Okay, so How do we come up with this form from this? Well, uh, you could, uh, what a lot of people do is just write down the answer, right? They, um, they know that this is uh, a line that passes through the point 8, 3, uh, negative 5 and is parallel to the vector 0, 2, negative 5. But let's say you forget that, okay? I'm going to show you how you can transform it, all right? So this kind of um, is, is isolated on its own. Let's work with what we have here. I'm going to introduce a parameter lambda to be either of these values, okay? So if I let lambda to be equal to y minus 3 over 2, I know that from here that's equal to z plus 5 all over negative 5. And what I'm going to do is rearrange this to isolate the y and the z, okay? So here essentially I've got two equations. If I bring the 2 up there and bring the negative 3 to the other side, I'll get 
y isolated. And if I bring the negative 5 up there and bring the 5 to the other side, I'll have the z isolated. Okay, so I've got that, and I haven't touched this because x doesn't depend on this lambda. x is always a constant. Okay, x is just always equal to 8 in this case. So what I can do now is, is write x, y, and z as a column vector. And just write out these... Uh, parts, so it's 8, 3 plus 2 lambda, negative 5 minus 5 lambda, and I'm going to break this up, so I've got this plus is a constant vector plus lambda times another constant vector. Okay. Alright, so let's take out all the constants that are not multiplying through by lambda, and I'll have something like this. That's an 8, 3, negative 5, plus 0, 2, negative 5. Okay, so our, our parametric vector form is just 8, 3, negative 5, plus lambda times this vector here. Okay. All right. So that's the long way of doing it, but many, many people just l identify what A1, A2, A3 are from here, V1, V2, V3, and then write down the answer. But if you forget the, parametr the uh, uh, parametric vector form, then you can always derive it from just, just um, introducing a parameter, lambda, and then rearranging. Okay, now the second part of this question asks us to identify a point on L and a vector V parallel to L. All right, well, we've actually, we can actually work that out from here. Okay. We write this as a point. So this point lies on L, and this vector is parallel to L. Let's see if I can squish it in. All right, so we are done. So I, did, I probably didn't really have to put all that, uh, that bottom right-hand corner in, but I just thought I'd, I, I'd do it. Okay, so that's the um, solution. Now, let's just talk about the geometry of the problem just for a second. So let me just share my screen again with you and um, uh, talk about this a little bit more. Now, notice here, x is always a constant. Okay, so what this means is the line, the line L associated with this form stays in a special vertical plane. It's contained in the plane x equals 8. That's a vertical plane that's parallel to the yz axis and passes through the point 8, uh, comma 0, comma 0. Okay, so this, pl this, this line can never leave the plane x equals 8. All right? Okay, so that's my presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section and uh, please join me for more videos and uh, my continuation of my basic introduction to vectors. Hope you can join me for the next presentation.